Hello everyone, and harasimin, ke irene, grace to you, and peace. This is proof number 10 in my series, Jesus is God, and today we're going to take, be taking a look at a very interesting passage of scripture, 1 Corinthians 8, 6. 1 Corinthians 8, 6, which reads in the Greek, Alemin is theos o pater ex utapanta ke emis is afton ke is kerios Jesus Christos di utapanta ke emis di aftu. Now, none of the English translations have rendered this verse in a way that captures the nuance of what is being said in the Greek. So I have retranslated it as follows. But for us, there is one God, the Father, out from whom are all things, and we back into him, and one Lord, Jesus Christ, through whom are all things, and we back through him. Now, one thing is very clear about this verse, crystal clear. One is cannot be being used in the sense of the cardinal number one. In other words, one God is theos. The Father cannot mean that only the Father is theos, or God. And one Lord is Kyrios, Jesus Christ, cannot mean that only Jesus Christ is Lord. Otherwise, you've violated the Shema of Deuteronomy 6.4, which reads in the Greek Septuagint, which is the Greek translation of the Old Testament, Akue uh, Israel, Kyrios Oteosemon, Kyrios is Esten. Hero Israel, the Lord, Kyrios, our God, Theos, is one Lord, Kyrios is. And in Greek, the word order is flexible, so Kyrios is and is Kyrios mean the same thing, one Lord. Therefore, the Lord, Kyrios, is God, Theos, and vice versa. Very important, vice versa. God, Theos, is the Lord, Kyrios. And this is the key to understanding 1 Corinthians 8, 6. What we have in 1 Corinthians 8, 6 is a dual use of synecdoche. A synecdoche is part of something being used to refer to the whole thing. Uh, so in the phrase, one God, the Father, the Father is being used to represent the entire Godhead, Father, Son, Jesus Christ, and Holy Spirit as God. And in the phrase, one Lord, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ is being used to represent the entire Godhead, Father, Son, Jesus Christ, and Holy Spirit as Lord. Now, the rest of the verse is really incredible because it says that all things are out from X, the Father, and we are back into Is, Him. And then it says that all things are through Dia, Jesus Christ, and we are back through Dia, Him. Therefore, what is being expressed in 1 Corinthians 8, 6 is the doctrine of perichoresis, the doctrine of perichoresis, or the interpenetration of the Godhead. Now, perichoresis is a term from the Greek peri, meaning around, and chareo, meaning to leave space, which may be filled or occupied by another, to make room, to give place, or to yield. Now, a nice, concise definition of perichoresis can be found in Theopedia, which reads, Perichoresis is a Greek term used to describe the triune relationship between each person of the Godhead. It can be defined as co-indwelling, co-inhering, and mutual interpenetration. Alistair McGrath writes that it allows the individuality of the persons to be maintained while insisting that each person shares in the life of the other two. An image often used to express this idea is that of a community of being community of being, in which each person, while maintaining its distinctive identity, penetrates the others and is penetrated by them. Very nice definition there. Um, really, read this definition and think about it. It's very, very powerful and really is a key to the Christian life. Perichoresis. So therefore, in 1 Corinthians 8, 6, the Father 
is being used to represent the one God. And the one God also includes Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit. And Jesus Christ is being used to represent the one Lord. And the one Lord also includes the Father and the Holy Spirit. Thus, the community of being of Father, Son, Jesus Christ, and Holy Spirit is one Lord and one God. Now, additionally, since we as believers in Jesus Christ, and this, don't miss this, this is incredible and extremely important. Since we as believers in Jesus Christ are indwelled by all three members of the Trinity, we are considered part of the community of being. And this is what is meant in John 17, 21 through 23. John 17, 21 through 23 is probably one of the most difficult to understand verses in the entire, or passages in the entire Bible. Very difficult to understand, unless you understand the doctrine of perichoresis, and then it becomes easy. John 17, 21 through 23 reads, That they may all be one, even as you, Father, are in me, and I in you, that they also may be in us so that the world may believe that you sent me. The glory which you have given me, I have given to them, that they may be one, just as we are one, I in them and you in me, that they may be perfected in unity, so that the world may know that you sent me and loved them, even as you have loved me. Therefore, as believers in Jesus Christ, we cannot understand the commands to be one as the Father the Son, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit are one, unless we understand that they are one, and we are one in them. Therefore, clearly, Jesus Christ is Lord and God, just as the Father is Lord and God, and the Holy Spirit is Lord and God. Therefore, Jesus is God. Thank you, and Evcharisto.